who uh, took the time to join us. So today we're going to talk about smart money. In our last webinar, Jake Bailey talked a lot about taxes and some of the traps that people deal with during their retirement years. One of the things that he didn't talk a lot about, but that is certainly impacting a lot of your clients, is market volatility. So when, when we look at what are some of the consistent things that we hear that are pain points for our agents, our advisors, and their clients. And one of the most consistent things that we hear is really in relation to safe dollars. So today we're going to talk about opportunities in your existing book and with people that you haven't met yet where you can give a safe dollar pitch that will help them reposition some assets and really in the long run provide tremendous benefit and value to them, their family, and their business. So with that we'll get started. What's the pain point that we see? Well, one of the most consistent pain points that we see, the problem as it were, is that everybody knows they need money in the safe dollar world. The issue though is that when you look at the safe dollar world, they're very low yield and they're very inefficient from a tax standpoint. So that tiny bit of interest that is credited on your CD or money market account has, you, you got to pay ordinary income tax on it. So that's the pain point. Why do clients need safe dollar money? Well, life is uh, pretty much a guarantee that the unexpected will happen, and you need to have some money there in case of emergency. A lot of what we're seeing right now, though, is with recent market volatility, we've got more clients and business owners that have even more money on the sidelines than they used to. And, uh, and a lot of that is fear. Uh, they look at the roller coaster on the stock market and they look at the low yield and they say this known problem is better than the unknown problem. So they choose to keep a reasonable amount of money there and then they, they add some to it. So that's the world the clients are dealing with. What are the alternatives they have in terms of investing in a traditional sense? Well, what we can see is you know treasury bills, T-bonds, uh, options where the government backs up the money, it's not a great place to be right now. A three-year T-bond uh, is 0.85%. That's right, not even 1%. Five-year, 1.34. 10-year, 1.92. We go to the bank world CDs, a three-year CD is 1.5. A five-year CD is 2.2. Money market, 1%. And again, when we look at that CD and money market world, we're going to have to pay ordinary income taxes on that tiny bit of growth that we get for our safe dollar pile of money. So that's the problem that the clients are facing. Most of them, however, say there's not really a better way of doing this. This is just kind of the best possible solution for a part of my overall financial plan that has to stay in this type of world. Well, today we're going to provide some information that says we think there's a solution to this that will help your clients reposition low yield money give them the opportunity to earn a higher rate of return. They can keep that low risk profile that they want. They don't want to ride the roller coaster in the stock market. That's the reason they've got the money there to begin with. Uh, they can get access to tax deferred growth instead of having to pay taxes year after year after year on that pile of money. They can maintain access to the capital, which is a big deal when you're talking about a safe dollar investment. There's the possibility they might need some of that money in the next 5, 10, 15 years. And lastly, uh, we're, going to prevent, we're going to present two solutions, and both of them will offer valuable life insurance coverage, and one of them is going to add long-term care benefits to it. So when we look at this, we think this is a pretty good uh, opportunity to talk to your clients about. So let's, let's dig into it a little bit more and make sure that we're kind of all on the same page. What's the value the client gets? Well, this is important. Uh, traditionally, one of the biggest negatives from a life insurance perspective in using this in the safe dollar world was it took time to build up enough value in your cash value account for it really to be usable. So most clients had just turned an eye to it because the, the time frame for accumulating capital was 10, 15, 20 years down the road, and they just didn't have the time to wait for their safe dollar money. Next, they're going to get strong tax deferred growth over time. So instead of paying taxes year after year after year, they're going to get to defer those taxes down the road, which is a great benefit. They're going to get immediate death benefit, and with one of these options, they're going to get chronic and critical illness riders that will, that will pay for long-term care expenses down the road if any arise. 
So overall, the value to the client is tremendous. They're able to maintain access. They're able to grow in a, in a better way from a tax perspective. And their money is leveraged so that it's worth more if something happens in the next couple of years. And there's kind of a guaranteed switch with the chronicle and critical, chronic and critical illness riders that say, if you need the money, it's going to be available for a long-term care claim. So who are the ideal prospects? Well, really anybody under the age of 75. Um, table three or better, and the reason for the table three or better is one of the solutions we have is an expedited underwriting. The other solution that we have is uh, a table shave program. So for the table shave, it's full underwriting, blood, urine, paramed, the whole deal. But then if they're table three, they're going to get shaved up to standard, making the product work a little better. In uh, the other world we're going to look at today, we're going to get expedited underwriting, meaning one page, phone call, no blood, no urine, no paramed, uh, and about 80% of the time they're going to issue that policy within four or five days. They really need to have at least $100,000 in the low yield investment world. And they need to be able to provide themselves with a separate emergency fund. So for example, if you've got a client with $100,000 in a CD, but that's all their emergency fund money, it just doesn't make sense to take all of it. And the primary reason it doesn't make sense to take all of it is from the agent or advisor's perspective, the client is going to be limited in the first three years with one of the solutions to 10% of their money. And if they take more than 10% out, there's a commission charge back. And as you can see here, the schedule is 100% of the commission in the first year, 75% second year, 25% in the third year, and then they have access to all their money. The other solution uh, is a little bit more favorable in that scenario, but we'll get to that in a minute. The client really needs to have a need for life insurance. Uh, the need for life insurance from the client's perspective, it can be a want, uh, it can be a need, but it really makes sense here for the client uh, that is doing this to have a longer term motivation beyond just the immediate in the sense that if they did this and they kept it for 10, 15, 20, 25 years, we want the life insurance piece to be of value to them so that there's not a later down the road discussion where they're upset about some charge from an insurance perspective. So that part needs to be clear on the front side. And lastly, business owners. Why do we say business owners? Well. The reason we say business owners is one of the things that we've seen since we first started discussing this uh, idea last year is we've had multiple cases where we've had business owners that had large amounts of capital, and large can be relative to their business, but large amounts of capital that were kind of sitting on the sidelines, so to speak, inside the business. They kept it there because they didn't know if they might need it, but there was nowhere really to put it that would offer them decent return and any type of tax treatment. So they kept it there just in case the business needed the money. This is a perfect solution for your business owner clients. It really is well suited uh, for those business owners that are accumulating cash and maintaining cash reserves in order to run their business more effectively. So how does it work? Well, the first option we're going to discuss today is North American's Rapid Builder IUL. You can see the specifics are on the screen there. A 12.5% cap, 0% floor in any one year. It's got 100% participation in the S&P annual point-to-point. -point. One interesting feature here is they've got a 3% guaranteed minimum interest rate built into the contract. But that has an eight-year life cycle on it. So at the end of the eighth policy year, they're going to do a review calculate returns, and if your client got more than 3%, nothing happens. If your client got less than 3%, they're going to credit the contract 3% compound interest to true it up. If, they, if the clients decide to keep this for the long term, they're going to get an extra 0.75% persistency bonus in starting in year 16. There's a waiver of surrender charge rider, and that's the reason the client has limited access to the money in the first three years, because that waiver of surrender charge rider positions this immediate dump-in premium as accessible to the client. There's a chronic illness rider, a critical illness rider, and a very low-cost contract. So this is a good solution for the client that wants to get the money off the sidelines and is comfortable with a little bit of fluctuation in how the return will work. They understand the stock market. They don't want to be married to it. They're protected on the downside, but they like the opportunity to grow up, to grow that pile of money 5, 8, 10, 12, 
percent over time. How do, what would it look like? So let's just look at an example. So let's say we had a 50-year-old male and he put $250,000 into this contract, single premium. It's going to provide an initial death benefit of $720,000 and that death benefit will increase over time. At the end of year one, using the guaranteed surrender charges, he still got $253,000. And at the end of year one, if he happened uh, to get 7% interest in that trailing market S&P 500 index, and they kept the insurance charges current, he'd have $264,000. At the end of 20 years, as you can see here, the range uh, under current charges is anywhere from $530,000 to $780,000. That's a big range, obviously. But either way, that's a return that's going to protect the client and the downside, provide death benefit in the short term, long-term care benefits in the long run, and grow their money in a much more favorable way from a tax and interest rate standpoint than, say, a CD or a money market account. The other option that we have to discuss today is the MetLife Paul product. This one is done, as we said earlier, with simplified underwriting. So, you're, you got a one pager you're going to fill out with your client. They're going to do a phone call with MetLife, and about 80% of the time, they're going to issue a policy within four or five days. Uh, the remainder of those 20%, the 20% of those policies that don't get issued promptly, they're, they're going to get flagged and they're going to be reviewed. And typically speaking, about half of those get issued within a couple of days of, of that process. So about 90% of these cases are going to be issued within a week. It's a great number. So what we see here is this is a good solution for the client that wants a more CD or money market-like feel. And here's why, how that works. So currently they're paying 4.45% on that, but there's a guaranteed 2% floor on it. So when we look at this, what the client sees really is an account that's going to work very similarly to their CD or money market account in terms of the way that it grows. It's going to be slow and steady, wins the race versus the, the index products, which is going to kind of jump up and down as it trails the market. There is a 1% surrender charge on this, but as you'll see in a moment, that's not very severe compared to what the client gets out of this. And again, this is another very low cost contract. So the insurance charges are very low. I, we're going to look at the same example again. So a 50 year old male puts in $250,000 a single premium, initial death benefit is $733,000, also an increasing death benefit. The guaranteed surrender charge at the year, end of year one is $242,000. As you can see, there's a little bit of a penalty there for the cost of insurance and the lower insurance rate. But at the end of year one, if they get the, the 4.45, you can see it's, it's minuscule what they lost out on there. They've got $249,000. At the end of year 20, they'd have $489,000. So this, again, is a great alternative, particularly when compared to other safe dollar investments. So this is the point in the conversation where most of your clients are going to say, what's the catch? There's no way this works this way. Well, there is one thing I want to mention, and that is this is not going to work from a tax perspective the way a traditional insurance policy would. This is going to be a modified endowment contract. So there, there will be taxes paid on the growth in the policy as they pull it out. But when we compare it to the alternatives, there's also going to be taxes paid on the money market account, the CD. So this is not a, a, a totally tax-free way of doing it, but it is tax-favored. Uh, so that catch needs to be explained well, and the client needs to understand that on the front side. Lastly, we've got a couple of other things here. So North American, for example, they do have that three-year period we talked about before where the client's only going to have access to 10% of their cash per year, but it can accumulate. So if they don't take anything out in year one and they want 20% in year two, that's fine. If they don't take anything out in year one or two and they want 30% out in year three, that's also fine. No chargebacks would be made there. They have access to all of their money, but again, remember, the catch from the advisor standpoint is if they take out more than that allowed percentage, there's going to be a chargeback to the advisor or the agent that sold the policy. Again, it's full medical underwriting. And from a, just a psychological standpoint, the growth here is linked to stocks. So somebody that's you know, adamantly opposed to the stock market is not going to find this solution as one that they are really excited about because it's going to trail the stock market. 
MetLife has lower potential returns. That's certainly a catch. Um, and as we said before, in addition to the MEC, the client really needs to have a need for life insurance. So the catch from the client's perspective is really this. Uh, they're going to take some of their safe money. They're going to move it to a world where they're not going to get FDIC insurance, but they are going to get fairly predictable returns. So we think that all of those negatives can be explained pretty well. So how do you start the conversation? Well, as we said, we rolled this out about a year ago, and a lot of our advisors have had the opportunity to create conversations, opportunities with their clients based off of this uh, concept. So what, we, what we've seen is, in talking to them about how they've done it, what has been most effective is starting with an educational approach. So rather than trying to sell this right out of the gate as the best thing since sliced bread, these advisors are really just talking about it in an educational way so that the client starts to understand, not at a deep level how it works, but just from a big picture standpoint, what does the concept do, where does it fit, what does it help with? They're going to give a bite-sized explanation of the concept. So if we think about this in movie terms, this is the trailer. They're going to give a trailer version of this where they're going to give a one or two minute explanation of how this works rather than the long 20 minute explanation of what's going on here. They're going to tell a compelling why based story. So this is really where your better advisors are getting into vision casting, if you will, for the client. So they're going to tell a story about what this does for the client, the client's business, and future generations based on their experience and kind of how this has worked for somebody else. So they're going to share a story that the client finds value in from a why standpoint. And then that vision casting that I just mentioned is really getting them to look down the road. Uh, our top advisors tell us most of their clients are good at living in the present. They're not very good at planning for the future. And so they're pulling them out 5, 10, 15 years and casting a vision for what it's going to feel like when they get you know, to 65 or 70 or 75 to have this sideline money, so to speak, that's currently growing at 1% or less, growing at 4 or 5 or 6%. That's a great benefit and value to the client. And then lastly, after they've done these things, what they're telling us that is most effective is that they just simply ask questions and listen to the client. This is the part where, based on what the client says, they can tailor the approach even more to the client so that the client starts to really get their arms around how this would change their financial life. So as we start to wrap this up, let's just think about this. Uh, from, a, from a vision standpoint and from a value standpoint, if you went to all of your clients that were, let's say, 50 to 75, that had more than $100,000 in the CD world or the money market world or both, and you told them that you're going to give them a tax-deferred rate of return, let's say 3, 4, 5, 6%, immediate death benefit that makes that pile of money worth two times, three times, four times, maybe even five times what it's worth today, They've got options that will provide long-term care benefits, and we're going to let them have immediate access to all of their money. What do you think their response would be if you said, would you like to replace your CD? So that simple question is really, I think, the, the one, and, and what we see working most effectively is just finding the niche and presenting the solution. So what we would ask for you to do is to make a list of your clients that fit in that category. Are they between the ages of, let's say, 45 and 75? The sweet spot for this in terms of having both, both of these options on the table is really that 45 to 60 range. Make a list of the clients that you think would find value in this, and then call them and tell the story. And we would love the opportunity to do a case consultation with you to make this kind of come to life for one of your clients at a really specific level. Um, last thing I'll add here is we've had a couple of agents and advisors over the last year that have decided to position some of their own assets in this world, and they've called us really just to kick the tires on it. They've made a decision to just evaluate this by looking at it from their standpoint. So we would encourage you to think about that too. If you're an agent in that 45 to 65, 75 range, 
and you've got some money sitting on the sidelines and you'd like to see what it looks like to get this, uh, to, to incorporate this as part of your financial world, we'd love to have that discussion too. But one success story that we'll share uh, as we wrap up here, we had an agent uh, that was contacted by a, an elderly client that wanted to pull some money out of the market, get, get it on the sidelines because he felt like he needed to, to have a little bit less money in the stock market at his age. He was in his 60s or 70s. And uh, they had the discussion. They looked at different options. They went through the process. And at the end, this uh, client decided to pull a million dollars out of the market and park it in one of these two options. Now, if you think about that from the client's perspective, with the volatility in the market, when you pull out a million dollars and things start to drop, you feel great. So that's a, that's a story I'll share with you that is a real success story. We would love the opportunity to help you find your own success story. So uh, one thing to add, as we come to uh, the end of our time today, We've got another webinar coming up at the end of this month. It's actually going to be on the 31st at 10 o'clock in the morning. Jake's going to be doing a live webinar on premium financing. We hope that you will plan to join us for that. And uh, we certainly look forward to helping you find an opportunity with one of your clients. Sales Ideas for Safe Dollars is a great idea, and we hope you'll find some value in it and bring it to your clients. Thanks so much.